Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to MS SQL Server on GCP that is Google Cloud Platform. See, I have connected to my Google Cloud Console. Click on this navigation menu, then click on SQL that is Cloud SQL. Now click on Create Instance. See here the description Cloud SQL offers a fully managed database service for MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Server. Click on Create Instance. See, we have three database engines, MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Server. See here, the versions available are these ones. Click on Choose SQL Server. Here, we have to provide the name for this SQL Server instance. I am giving PostDB. Now provide the password. See, this is the password for this user. That is your default service admin username is SQL Server. Here, these are the available SQL Server editions 17, 19, and 22. Choose based on your requirement. I am going with 19 standard. Also select here the environment. Is it development or production? For me, it is development. See here, development, these are the configuration details. Single zone, two CPUs, 8 GB memory, storage is 100 GB. We can customize this. Select the region. By default, it has selected US central one. But it is always recommended to select your local region. I am going with default one. Zonal availability single zone for me it is development so i am going with single zone for high available it is recommended to select multi zone you can select any one of the zones click on show configuration options see as i told you we can change the these settings from this customize your instance one cpu two cpus are like this custom if you want to change number you can select custom i am going with defaults storage storage is also same you can select anyone it is always recommended to check the checkbox it automatically increases the storage connections public ip and private ip keep the checkbox as it is public ip is used to connect to ms sql server outside the google cloud environment authentication we haven't provided any authentication no domain okay data protection see these are the number of backups and this is the backup window you can change anything based on the requirement also notice one more important checkbox enable deletion protection why whenever we try to delay this will protect the deletion of the ms sql server instance if you want to enable point in time recovery we have to check this checkbox it is going to store seven Days of logs for enterprise edition. Maintenance. I am not going to change anything. Flags and parameters. If you want to change default collation and time zone, you can change from here. I am not going to change anything. Labels are the optional. I am not giving any labels at the at present. This is the summary of MS SQL Server instance on GCP. Click on create instance. See. It is creating instance. See, this is the overview and this is the connection name. Wait some time, it will populate the public IP of this machine. This may take up to 5 minutes. Click on SQL. See, instance is being updated. Once it is created, we will see it is created and it is runnable state. Click on the instance. See, public IP has been assigned. We will use this public IP to connect to MS SQL Server from SQL Server Management Studio that we will see after instance has been created. For me it took about 7 minutes. See it is created. Also here it is runnable. If you go to SQL. See here it is saying it is runnable. Click on it. 
copy this IP, open SQL Server Management Studio. If you haven't installed SQL Server Management Studio, it is free to download and install. Click on disconnect, then database engine. Select SQL Server authentication and paste the IP of SQL Server instance which is created on GCP. Then provide the login. Login name is SQL Server. Provide the password which we have provided at the time of instance creation. Click on create. But this will be failed. Why? I will show you. First, see the error. See the error? This is the error. Why? Because we have to add client IP that is my IP to GCP network. Go to click on connections networking click on add a network my address here we have to provide the your IP search for what is my IP See, this is the IP, copy it and paste it here. Then click on done. Then click on save. Wait until it is saved. See, it is saved. Now go to SQL Server Management Studio. Now click on connect. Connection is success. Expand databases. See, we have only system databases. We can verify from here also. Click on databases. See, we have these four databases. Those are the default databases comes with MS SQL Server. Let's create a database. Click on create. See, database has been populated. Now go to SQL Server Management Studio. Click on this refresh. Expand databases. See, new database has been updated here also. You can also create databases by right clicking and select new database. Provide the database name test db. These are all the database options. I am not going to change anything. Recovery model or collation, all are defaults. Click, click on OK. See, new database has been added. Go to GCP console. It is not updated. Refresh to get the changes. See, testdb has been added. If you want to drop database, select the database and click on delete or right click on it and click on select delete. Both are same. I am deleting from here. Here we have to give test database name for confirmation. Click on delete. Database is deleted. Again right click on refresh. Now create users or logins. Expand security. Logins. See these are the list of the logins available. We can also create logins by clicking on users. Click on add user account. Provide password. Click on add. See, new user is 
added if you want to remove select it and click on remove or right click and refresh to, re to reflect the changes see new user is added or login right click on delete click on ok click on ok see it has been gone also here refresh see new user is gone last step click on sql see we have one ms sql server instance try to delete this one but see the delete option has been grayed out why because we have enabled the protection click on instance click on edit maintenance preferences here in data protection we have to uncheck then click on save now go to sql wait until this editing is success until it is success all these options will be grayed out see it is success click on actions see now we are able to delete here we have to provide the instance id i am not deleting so in this video we have seen how to create ms sql server instance on gcp or google cloud platform then we have seen how to connect to MS SQL Server instance by using SQL Server Management Studio. For more GCPR cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.